If I add salt to my pool, will it damage it? This is a question that a lot of pool owners have. You know, you, you've heard a lot of good things about salt water. You've probably talked to some people that own saltwater swimming pools and they love them and they rave about them all the time. And you're thinking like, I, I want to do the same thing. And then you go online and you start reading some stuff and you start reading horror stories about all the damage that salt water does to your pool. There is middle ground here. Salt water doesn't automatically damage your pool you put it in there your pool's messed immediately that's not how it works but there are some chemical changes that happen when you use salt water chlorine versus other forms of chlorine in your swimming pool and things like having a high ph that's super common with salt water swimming pools and you know there's ramifications of having your ph be too high all the time things like your heater won't last as long so is that a function of salt water does salt water ruin heaters or does mismanage and mismanagement of the chemical parameters in your pool cause your heater to last half as long as it should and so adding salt water to your pool doesn't automatically damage it but if your pool is deficient in any way the the adding salt to the tune of 3,000 parts per million to your water is definitely going to make the, the the problems more noticeable I'll give you an example let's say that your pool wasn't built properly and it doesn't have a bonding grid or maybe it does have a bonding grid but the day that the anchors for your stainless steel ladder, the day that they got set into the concrete, they actually didn't get bonded. They're supposed to get bonded, but they didn't because the guy doing the concrete just kind of throws them in and, you know, it just didn't get done 20 years ago. That's kind of how things happen. You had a stainless steel ladder before. You used chlorine. You know, you never really had a problem with it. You switched to salt water. Oh, man, look at this. My ladder looks like garbage. It's all stained and black and corroded with carbon or it's blue and it looks like it was hit by lightning, actually. And so did salt water cause that problem or was the pool not built properly? And you're only now noticing that problem because adding salt to your pool made the water more conductive. When the water is more conductive, there is potential for damage to happen. The science behind that is just really simple. When you immerse dissimilar metals into salt water, you are creating a primary battery. A swimming pool is a large body of water. If you add salt to it, now it's a large body of salt water, and there are plenty of dissimilar metals within a swimming pool system. And so essentially, when mismanaged and when not built properly, the giant primary battery that runs in your backyard 24 hours a day, seven days a week, can cause galvanic corrosion to some of the metals within your pool system. Again, salt water didn't damage your pool, but it did take advantage of deficiencies within the pool system or mismanagement of your chemical system to cause damage. Aside from that, the only other damage that I would say that salt water causes to your pool specifically is to things like natural stone or waterfalls, things like that, if you can imagine it. If you've ever spilled some salt water and then let it dry, you probably noticed it left a white film, and that's exactly what will happen with a salt water swimming pool. Any place that you have regular splash out where it gets wet and then it dries and gets wet and then it dries, you're going to have that salt staining. And if you have ever lived uh, in a cold climate area like I do, where we get a lot of snow in the winter and then people put salt on the ground so that you can walk safely, well, any boots or clothing that gets exposed to that salt is going to develop s salt rings and salt stains, and they don't really come out very well. They're kind of permanent, and your pool's kind of the same way. The natural stones and concretes and things like that, these are all porous, and so the salt can leave residue that is unsightly. It does damage some surfaces, but not specifically saying that salt water damages your pool. It's more that the mismanagement of salt water pools can lead to early failure of certain parts of your pool. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.